Hey guys, today I want to show you how I stamp these coffee. These will be coffee mugs. Right now they're handleless coffee mugs. But a lot of times I like to include a stamp with either a word or some imagery or something. This one says Waco. This one says Waco. This one says Hope. Uh, you can really put anything on your mugs and it helps people, you know, people that want to identify with that. But here's how I do it. I usually wait until it's not really tacky at all. So this is still just a little bit wet. This has a little bit of tack to it. I like it when it's it's leather hard, but it's not at all tacky. You can still do it when it's tacky and it's easier to press in. Um, I like to orient where I want the handle to be so I'm not um, stamping on that. So like I have a little bit of an inconsistency on the lip here, so I want the stamp to be somewhere over here. So I'm gonna orient it like this. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stamp. This is gonna be Waco stamp. Come on in here, let me show you this. So this is the Waco stamp and you can get all sorts of great detail with this stuff. You know, the stamps are always printed backwards, but then you can get really good detail there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some oil. This is just vegetable oil from the kitchen. And I just am dabbing it around there just to keep it. I just do this once and I'll get here. Sorry if I cut you off here, Nugri. I'll get it kind of level and then I'll press it in. I'll hold it in the middle and now I just kind of walk it around. I'm going to walk it around to the left. And I'm going to walk it around to the right and I'm pressing on the inside and the outside to make sure that stamp gets pressed in all the way. And there we go, just like that. Now you'll see some oil down there. That oil is going to fade off. That oil will burn off and you won't even get, be able to see that. Let's do another one. If you like this content, you'll love my new course. Mugs are money, how to make pottery that sells. We'll be going over hand building, slip casting, and wheel throwing the most commonly sold pottery item on the planet, the coffee mug. Check it out in the links below. You gotta make sure your fingers can reach all the way to the bottom of the stamp too. Let's do another one. See, this one's got a good, uh, you can't touch it through the camera, but the tackiness or lack of tack on this one is better. Like I like doing it at this stage. Now, if you wait too long, it's gonna be a little bit too hard. You'll have to really press in to get that stamp to go in. And you can't do it too close to the bottom or else your fingers can't really reach in there. I guess the longer your fingers, the further down into the vessel you can reach. All right, so that's what it looks like. That's how I use stamps to put imagery on mugs. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to debat these mugs, how to take them off of the ceramic bats I threw them on. Click or tap the screen to watch.